Here's everything you need to know for the week beginning March 22nd, 2021. Let's get into it. Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning March 22nd, 2021. So we are coming into more of that transformation, okay? <laughs> so we are having deep soul level uh, revelations. Maybe some of you have been madly in love with somebody. You feel like it's a divine connection. And yes, you want to come together with that person, but you realize, mm, what are some of the other lessons that the soul is teaching me? You know, remember, we all have a lot of soulmates. So, you know, see, see what's coming up for you in this coming week. The big thing that's coming through right now is to not get caught up in guilt, blame, shame, all that toxicity, and then push the lesson away because you don't want to feel those emotions, right? So we want to have some awareness around what is coming up and make sure that, again, we're not pushing away love that, you know, <laughs> the universe is sending you to receive or um, again, sidestepping. Yeah, that's a lot of like, be careful with the sidestepping. All right, so let's grab some cards here. I'm gonna be using this deck here. I put all the decks that I'm using down in the description box and I'm bringing back the Archangel Michael deck for this week as well. What do we have for the week of March 22nd, 2021? major turning points, major, major turning points. All right. So this is the time to figure out whatever it is that you have to do to move on from something. And some of you might have to do it very spiritually. So this might be uh, a cord cutting and, um, being okay with the karma going away. I know that sounds crazy, but a lot of times we will hang on to it because someone fills a void for us. Uh, this is where we're learning what real love is. This is where we're learning, uh, you know, more about ourselves. And therefore, do I really fit into this company? Do I really fit in this job, this industry, that sort of thing? So we have golden healer quartz, open the door. I'm going to hold this up with my left hand because I have a burn on my right arm. So <laughs> you don't need to see that. So the thing that's <laughs> jumping out at me here is the golden healer part of this card. Open the door. This is what we're having to go through in order to move on, in order to move forward. Uh, a lot of us get hung up in the past or we're trying to figure out what the future is gonna hold and we're so nervous about what's to come that we end up shutting out all of the opportunities. So through the healing, we open the door, right? So for a lot of people out there, this will be heart chakra healing, okay? Uh, we have blue lace agate, find your calm. So this is a very angelic crystal to work with and this is definitely saying you are well supported. This is about understanding the higher spiritual lesson behind whatever it is that you're experiencing right now. And sometimes when people are not a frequency match for higher vibrations, when there is this kind of time, people start to short circuit. You're going to see people acting out. You're going to be seeing people be very angry, um, potentially. Okay. Now, who knows what they're doing behind closed doors, or it might be outward in the world. Either way, don't participate. Okay, keep the peace within you. See, yeah, tourmalated quartz, get out of your own way. Remember how I always say whenever this crystal comes up, all these, these lines here, we're so enmeshed. So what have you gotten enmeshed in? This could be something from a long, long time ago. Again, divine counterparts, that sort of thing. What have you learned and are you ready to move on? So this says get out of your own way. So that means don't get hung up on those past memories. Don't get hung up on, hmm, no, they're correcting me. If you are getting hung up on past memories, it's because some of you need to make amends, okay? There's something that you've been too prideful about. Um, there's something that you don't understand, <laughs> right? And we don't always, oops, sorry. Uh, we don't always get the luxury of having a heart to heart talk. Sometimes people, again, pride gets in the way or they just wanna be right and it's just arguing or whatever. That's where we start getting entangled, okay? And that entanglement is going to start draining us. <laughs> we don't need it. And that's where these other two cards really come in. 
right? So allow yourself to heal and allow some of that, you know, higher frequency, angelic communication, your spirit team, uh, what have you to come on in and let you see, like, what do I need to clear away? What can I get rid of? <laughs> How can I be free? That's what it is. How can I be free? All right, we have red jasper, take action. Take action on your own healing. Take action to release some karma, to balance out your system. Um, I thought it'd be cute to wear these glasses, but now they're just sliding down my face. Okay, whatever, we're just gonna keep going with it. <laughs> so this is also the root chakra. Can you feel at home and safe within your own skin? Or are you depending on someone else to make you feel safe, right? So we make a lot of choices out of a sense of helplessness or, um, you know, a lot of people have a hard time being alone. And why is that, right? So work on the root chakra and the heart chakra this week. I think those are gonna be two areas that could use a lot of healing. So let's grab up this uh, Archangel Michael deck here. Things are gonna be messier before, there it is. <laughs> Gosh, things are gonna get messier before they get better. And yeah, and then as I say that, here is eternal love. I've been feeling a lot about divine counterparts. You know, I'm not big on the twin flame label only because of what people do with it. Yes, yeah? so a lot of people like to latch on to that uh, concept to twist it so that it serves them. And then next thing you know, you got people stalking each other because they're like, no, she doesn't understand that she's my twin flame. <laughs> when she needs to understand, honey, she'll understand. Lay off, all right? <laughs> Sorry, anyway, I'm not an expert in that area. But this says eternal love. Uh, and the prayer on here is help me perceive all of the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe receiving, expressing, and giving love. Very weird, very weird, you guys, that I was feeling all this divine counterpart energy. This is the time where people, and whether you want to call it whatever term you want to put on it, they're coming together, but that doesn't mean you're supposed to be with the person. So let me lay this out there. If you have somebody that you've been waiting for to come back or, um, just, you know, this could be taken too as like any, any relationship where there's been a love, whatever kind of love that is. Uh, if you're not being treated right, <laughs> now that doesn't, we all have a different def definition of what it is to be treated correctly, but um, I'm saying if there's not an equal free flow of love, if someone's just coming in and saying, it's all your fault, you're terrible, you should live for me, blah, 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 that, that's not, that's not it, that's not it, don't be doing that nonsense, let's get another one, let's see what the heck we're talking about here, yeah, so releasing some love patterns, um, I just learned a, a new term, I can't talk this week, <laughs> have you noticed, I'm like, blah, 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 <laughs> I learned a new term, and I, I think it's called limerence, which is this obsessive love that burns out really quickly. Again, check with an expert, I'm not an expert. Um, but I found it fascinating. I started learning about attachment styles and learning about my own attachment style. And again, check with an expert. It was very eye-opening. What else we got here, Archangel Michael? Get your clarity. Yeah, Archangel Michael is all about courage, self-esteem, your intentions. Like, you know, a lot of times when our self-esteem is low, um, that's when people can move in, right? And they can kind of sense that. All right, and they're, okay, interesting. I was gonna say they can sense that and now you might have a toxic dynamic going on. And again, this goes across all kinds of relationships. So this is self, oops, wrong, wrong hand, sorry. <laughs> Self-respect, the prayer is, dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see myself as you see me through the eyes of love. Thank you for honoring and respecting me Please guide me to do the same for myself and grant me the courage to speak up on my own behalf. I ask for your protection in all of my relationships so that I'm surrounded by loving and kind people. Okay, look. So some of us might be dealing, I'm <laughs> dropping the deck, uh, might be dealing with a past love partner or something that didn't get off the ground or something that just, whatever. There's some, some unfinished business around love, love connections. And this self-respect card is saying, don't hide behind some spiritual label if someone's not treating you right, if they're not being good to you, yes? So again, we have to kind of watch our own pride and our own ego to make sure we're not doing that as well. And then <laughs> conversely pushing out a true love partner. Okay, so let's see what else we have going on here. If you're sitting here saying, oh my gosh, this is all about love and I didn't expect this or whatever, sometimes the readings don't, um, if they don't resonate for you, then 
they don't resonate for you. Where I'm just picking up and reflecting energies that are coming through and giving examples as I am guided to give them. Oh, oh, oh. We have two cards. All right, here you go. Dark night of the soul kind of stuff, guys, but we're coming on out. Okay, so first we have black, find richness from the dark of night. The number is 28. Um, this is making something, this is something very painful that has been going on and on and on. And it's because we haven't learned our patterns. We haven't been able to come through it because we're, we're so, we're swimming in it. Yeah, we're living there. We are uh, maybe victimizing ourselves. I've had to learn <laughs> about that myself where I remember certain stories and I'm like, you know, always blaming the other person and being like, they did this and they did that. Maybe they, you know, did some rough stuff, but where was I unfair? How did I contribute to that situation? So we end up pushing ourselves to this dark night of the soul kind of moment because we're not recognizing the lessons that are there. We keep trying to run away from it. It seems like a beast that's chasing us. This is your time to look at that and go, where can I lighten up a little bit? And that's where this card, they came out together. So, and they're opposites. <laughs> so this is uh, the sacral chakra, by the way, the emotional body, the free flow, the creativity. What kind of chapter do you want to create for yourself next? So this one is uh, be spontaneous and have fun. The number 17 reduces to eight. So you can open the door here as that golden healer crystal card was saying, the quartz card was saying, open up your creativity, open up your childlike uh, vision, <laughs> right? What can you do this week to help you lighten up and release yourself from the past? Yes, that might involve a conversation. If you do have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, if you're one of the lucky ones that gets to have one of those for closure or for releasing or for healing or what have you, make sure you're not getting manipulated, yes? Make sure that you are not in such a, oh gosh, I just, because a lot of you watching this, you're, you're empathic. And so you're very, very sensitive and you see the good in people and you just want everyone to feel good about themselves, right? You want everyone to be healed. You want them to feel all right. But someone might take advantage of that. So make sure you are setting those strong boundaries. And if you're one of the people that you don't get to have a clarifying conversation, that's okay. You can work through your own dark night of the soul. You will be completely equipped <laughs> to get through this time. But how do you approach that? You have to approach that with a lightness. Find your joy, all right? Don't let anybody pull you down no matter what, all right? So we're gonna leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.